Dr. Brown and Wallow Painting. Um, today is a tutorial on making terrain, uh, for example, like a crater like this. So, this tutorial is going to be focused on how to make craters like this. Um, we're going to make a, a, a much smaller one for the purpose of the tutorial. Um, and I'm going to show you a range of different colours you can use as well. So, let's get started. Right, so let's go through what you're going to need for this tutorial. Um, to start with, the cheapest option is cardboard. So any piece of size cardboard, I'm using double double thick cardboard like that, um, just so it doesn't warp with the glue. Um, if you go in for a more permanent kind of piece of terrain that's going to be transported around more, um, it's best to use thin sheets of balsa wood like this. Um, it's much more, uh, it's much stronger for a start. It won't warp with the glue, uh, that's a definite, and it's much more easy to transport because it won't get damaged. Um, second thing you're going to need is a big tub of PVA glue. Um, I've got this one, I just use it for everything, it's really cheap, you can pick it up at your uh, local DIY stores, it's really good. Um, next thing you're going to need is loads and loads of ripped up newspaper, you know what that looks like, I don't have to show you that. Um, tissue paper is also good, so just a toilet roll. And plenty of sand, which you can also pick up at your local DIY store. Um, other things for later, you're going to need uh, some water, some tap water, a container and an old paintbrush. You're going to need some spray paint. So I've got some Chaos Black if you want to do an urban theme like the one I showed you. Um, for this tutorial I'm going to use some of this. It's textured spray paint. Um, this is brown and it, it, it does give a really nice effect but we'll still use sand as well. Uh, and then you're going to need a range of paints like these. So they're just acrylic paints that you can pick up from any local art shop. Um, in this tutorial I'm going to do a, a kind of brown desert kind of crater so you can see what that'll look like. Obviously if you're doing an urban one you're just going to use black and white to make grey. Um, so let's get started with the project. Alright so Alice is going to take over um, in actually making the object and I'm just going to talk you through. So off camera before we started we mixed up um, the PVA mixture and that's three parts PVA to one part water so you can see the consistency there um, and that's going to provide all the kind of glue we need so we've got a piece of cardboard and first you need to mark out the size of your crater so this is going to be um, the the lowest part of the crater and you want you can do whatever size you want um, and that's going to mark out the outer line of the crater and then your centre hole can be a little bit smaller than that um, and now we just need to get started with the newspaper and the glue mixture. So I'm sure everyone's done this at some point in their life, just um, kind of a kid's uh, activity of mixing some glue with some newspaper and it's just going to create the foundations of your creator. Um, so just going to tear it up, create strips and put them all the way around the edge of the creator. Like that. Now you'll stick them down and then you're going to apply glue straight over the top of that newspaper just to give it a nice kind of just to keep it in place. And you're going to slowly build it up until you're happy with the size of your actual crater. So we'll be back in a second once we've actually made ours. Alright, so now we've got the foundation built up our newspaper. The next thing we want to do is get some ripped up tissue paper and do the same process with the tissue paper. Now the good thing about doing this is it gives a really nice texture once it's dry and once you paint it, it gives a really nice uh, texture to it. It smooths everything out and it makes it just everything merge a lot better. So it's exactly the same process with the, uh, the PVA glue mixture in the tissue paper. Um, and another good thing to do is covering up the edges of the cardboard base so what we'll do is is we'll cut them corners off the cardboard base to make it more round and then you'll cover over and around those edges with the tissue paper now what this does is it'll cover 
the um, the corrugated kind of edges that you see on the edge of the cardboard so it will just make it look like one piece of terrain so as you can see there all that kind of gaps in between the cardboard it will just be covered up by tissue paper and then we'll cut round them edges to remove them corners just so it looks like one crater and it looks completely merged together okay so we've just finished the uh, tissue paper bit uh, we've cut round them corners like I said and we've covered underneath them as well so it covers over them edges of the cardboard so that's pretty much what it should look like at the moment uh, the only thing it needs now is a bit more texture so you're going to get some sand and um, it should already be all wet with PVA glue and we're going to apply that sand on okay so just applying the sand now you can just throw it on there because most of it will uh, just come off when you shake it off uh, there we go so PVA glue will still be wet from before so shouldn't you apply any extra um, and then just, just let the sand do its, do its job so that needs to dry um, for at least five hours I would say um, we're going to leave this one a bit longer maybe maybe about ten hours uh, just to completely let dry all the way through before painting okay so just finished uh, doing this and let it dry um, it's completely dry now it's ready for spray painting so for spray painting we're going to use um, a brown spray paint and it's going to be a textured one you don't have to use textured it's just the only brown spray paint we've got and it's just a prime it ready for uh, paint because it's going to be a kind of desert themed crater okay so we've just finished spray painting this um, and we've mixed some colours up to paint it so we've got a brown colour on the left and we've got some yellow on the right and just some white to lighten it up and we've mixed uh, one to one part to create like a quite nice um, light brown and we're just going to base it in this colour so obviously you can use whatever colours um, you're going for with your piece of train but we're going to go for kind of wasteland slash desert kind of crater with this one um, obviously if you after urban which is the most common type um, you just after your black uh, priming you would just dry brush different colours of grey straight over the top of that and that would be really quite simple to do so we're just going to finish painting uh, the base coat on this crater, let it dry and then we'll be back for the next step. Okay so we've left this uh, to fully dry and that's the base coat done so now we're just going to go in with um, lighter tones, nice sandy tones of paint and um, we're going to dry brush them over the top of this uh, catching all the sandy kind of texture. Now when you're doing this make sure you haven't got too much paint on your brush because then you're obviously going to just be painting it again. What you want to do is you just want to lightly dust the, the paint over um, the texture of the crater. So as you can see it's lightly being dusted over there. Um, you want to go all the way around the, the base of the crater but mainly around the the higher edges of it. So best kind of brushes for this are medium sized and um, good quality nice dry brushes which you can pick up from most art shops really so we'll just be back in a second when this is all finished so uh, we've just finished the first highlight and now what you want to do is mix a sandy colour up that's uh, slightly lighter than the last one you used so you can see there we've mixed a nice light colour up and now we're going to use the same technique and dry brush that just over the highest areas. That will give a really nice lightened effect. It will give some nice contrast to the contrast to those darker areas on the crater. Now, um, this is the most basic type of crater you can make, uh, as it's made from the most basic of materials. But we will we'll be doing videos to show how to make more advanced craters using high density polystyrenes and all sorts of um, vehicle bits stuff like that so we will be doing those advanced terrain tutorials but we just wanted to show how to make a, a crater and any other terrain as cheaply as possible with materials that are just at hand so it's much easier to make 
Um, so we'll be back when the paint stage is completely finished and show you the finished product. So here's the finished product you can expect to achieve um, with some uh, quarterly based dark outlaw on it. Um, the best thing to do with these smaller craters is to make a series of craters which you can just plonk together wherever you really want them. So one on its own doesn't look great but uh, maybe it's three or four together. Um, Larger, smaller ones look really great. Um, an example of a larger kind of crater you could do is here. Um, that's more of an urban one with some space wolves on it. Um, so they're just two colour schemes, but there's many other kind of colour schemes you could do. Um, so hope you like the video um, and subscribe to the channel as always. And we'll be doing more advanced terrain tutorials coming soon.